Action!
something today that occurred late? Spaceship Intrepid. I'm Matt, your commanding and captain. Commanding <laughs> officer. Wait, excuse me, but am I dreaming or something? As I was saying, I'm your captain and commanding officer while you're on this spaceship. Congratulations to each of you on being admitted to the academy. It is an honor that I take and trust you to take it very seriously. I have to be dreaming now. May I continue? Sorry. Now starts your basic training, so I hope you will. But pay your best attention and apply yourselves. Cadet Wilson. Uh, yeah. I think you meant to say yes, sir. Hmm. Your file says you're a classic underachiever and you have trouble respecting the code. Uh, they don't know what they're talking about. Really? It also says you've been going to church all your life, but all you really care about is having fun. Well, I hope that this mission will change that. Cadet Clark. Yes, sir. According to your dossier, you love science. That's correct, sir. But something here disturbs me. It says you drift away from God because you allow man's ideas about science to overrule what the Bible teaches. You're in dangerous territory today. We'll need to deal with that. Yes, sir. I see you brought your science fair project with you. I hope it's okay, sir. His name is Turbo. As you can see, I haven't inputted all the proper military protocols. <laughs> what else can you do? AC Turbo at your service. I can cook, clean, do laundry, fix computers, balance a checkbook, or do all of, and do all of Sam's homework so she does not have to. Wait, do not turn me off. <laughs> no, I guess he can stay. Maybe he'll be at Sunday's on the ship. Cadet Scott? Yes, sir. Your father says you received Christ and vacated the Bible school when you were 10 years old. It also says you maintained a love for the Bible, but you're sometimes afraid to defend it. Well, perhaps you'll have the opportunity to work on that while you're here. I hope so, sir. And how do you know Wilson and Clark? That's easy. We work at the Science Museum together. Co-workers, huh? I see. It's a strange thing, but you remind me of someone. I was going to say the same thing about you, sir. Now, other than, although the ship is equipped with the very latest in computer, computer and aerospace technology, it won't fly by itself. You'll need these guidebooks. It's vital for your success on this mission, Cadet Wilson. Standard operating procedures for the M1000. Sounds like a bestseller to me. It's a tremendous resource of information and it speaks over 6,000 languages. 6,527 languages to be exact, but who's counting? Would one of you like to ask it a question? I would. Go ahead, anything from science to history, even sports trivia. Um, okay. How about this? I just wanted to set the science to you. Computer, if the sun was hollow, how many planet Earths could fit inside it? Approximately one million Earths could fit inside the sun. That was too easy. Let me try. Computer, what's my favorite color? Orange. That was just a lucky guess. Bet you won't know anything else about it. You have two younger brothers. You ate chocolate chip cookies for breakfast this morning, and you still sleep with your teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> now, the computer's knowledge is limited and can even be an error simply because it was built and programmed by people. But there is a source of information that can always be trusted because it was written by God. Which, of course, makes it the most important book on earth. You put our names on That's right. We want the Bible to be your most prized possession and for you to think of it as your guidebook for life. Thank you, sir. You're most welcome. Here at the Academy, the Bible is our guide and authority for everything that we do. Okay, well, that's enough for now. You'll need to get your cabin assignment, study your guidebooks, and take some time to acquaint yourself with the ship. We'll report back here tomorrow morning at 0700 hours shop. You're dismissed. Bye, guys. <laughs> 
Good for luck. <laughs> but the bubbles got old. So what? Truth doesn't change, you know, like science. I mean, gravity. <laughs> but what about the parts that don't agree with science? What? All the parts agree with science, because God created science. But what about the edge of the earth? Everyone knows the earth is safe and usual. That's impossible. Because, uh, you know, there's no proof of that. Besides, did you know there are actually some scientists that believe that the earth is just a few thousand years old? Really? But the science museum says. I know what the science museum says. But that doesn't change it. When God's word and a few scientists or even museums don't agree about something, guess who's wrong? Mm, really? Does it even make sense to put man's ideas ahead of what God says? Sorry, but are you chewing gum? <laughs> You know robots can't chew gum. You don't have saliva. I'm just going to suck in your mouth. <laughs> no, give it to me. Turbo, I'll turn you off again. <laughs> Turbo, give it to me now. Oh, 
sorry about that. <laughs> making, it, making explosive sounds to express amusement is a difficult concept, but I will try. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 you guys aren't any fun. <laughs> What about the it's not working? There, good as none. It's back on for now. Fascinating. Thanks, it's nice to know someone appreciates my work. Yeah. <clears throat> good, you're all here. So have you all had the opportunity to acquaint yourself with the M1000? Yes, sir. I have a question about the console circuitry. Now, Turbo, let's not bother the captain with trivial matters. Isn't it time to recharge your batteries? I just did that. I'll do it again. <laughs> Designed to put into practice all you've been learning. Uh, excuse me, sir. What exactly have we been learning? Did you get a guidebook? Uh, you mean that big book? Yes, of course. You did read it, didn't you? Read it? Uh, yeah, sure. Then you should have nothing to worry about. Just remember, we always go by the book. We read it, we study it, we memorize it, and we obey it. Do you all understand how important the guidebook is? Yes, sir. We certainly do. Good. Now for your assignment. Wilson, you'll be the navigator, so you'll man the course plotter. No, Wilson. The other chair. No, the other, other chair. You're not giving me much confidence. Okay, Clark, you'll operate the accelerator next to Wilson. Thank you, sir. And Scott, I'd like you to make communications. Good. Computer, how long will it take to get to Space Station 7 with thrusters at full speed? At full speed, allowing for the initial acceleration, final deceleration, and the occasional bathroom stop, the trip will last precisely 12 hours, 26 minutes, and 7 seconds. Okay, cadets, it's time to run a pre departure systems check. Scott, you will notice a systems monitor at your station. I will mention each category, and you will answer check to indicate that each system is fully functional. Are you ready? Yes, Captain. Okay, here we go. Life support. Uh, ah, check. Human communications. Check. Navigation. Check. Weapons and shields. Check. Sensors. Check. Power cells at 100%. Check. So all systems are fully functional? Yes, Captain. And, uh, yes, okay. I think the control tower has just given us the okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> that said, we are clear to go. Excellent work, Commit. You're learning quickly. Navigator, using your guidebook, set a course for Space Station 7. That's you, Wilson. Oh, right. <laughs> set a course. I'm wondering how you do that. Uh, oh, yes. Where'd you say Space Station 7? 7, Space Station 7. Would you like some help? Uh, no, sir. Just, just give me a second. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> Bro. Okay. I think, uh... Thing. There, space station 11 it is. You mean 7, right? There is no space station 11. Oh, did I say 11? I meant space station 7. Okay then, Clark, proceed on course. Thrusters at one quarter until we clear the docking port. Yes, Captain. One quarter speed, here we go.
情，然后我就说，我哈哈哈。<笑><笑>
Let me help you, sir. No, no, please. You've done quite enough already. <laughs> no, you are a deaf being for life. I insist. <laughs> That's amazing. How did you do that? It feels perfectly normal. Thanks. You are welcome, sir. Now let me fix the console. Hey, this is deja vu all over again. Oh, it's Turbo. No, it's okay. Let's see what he can do. Computer, how long has it been since we left Fort? <laughs> Relation must be it a computer has virus. Been Relation must be a computer virus. It's actually 14 hours, 57 minutes, and 3 seconds. I knew it. Almost 15 hours. Seems like 15 days. Computer, if it takes 12 and a half hours to get to Space Station 7, and we've been flying now for almost 15, why hasn't it come into view? Space Station 7 is in Sector 7, not Sector 22. Sector 22, all engines, full stop. It's falling! Oh, goodness! <laughs> We can't be a sacred country. The coordinates are clearly laid out in the guidebook. Where is it? Where is your guidebook? Uh, I think I left it back in my cabin. Back in your cabin? So obviously you've memorized it? What's this? The updated revised known and proved how to fly in a spaceship in 10 easy steps. Is this what you've been using? Um, yes, sir. I gave you a guidebook. Why would you use something else? It was a mistake, sir. I thought it would be better and more great. Do you two realize what you've done? Sector 22 is completely uncharted territory. Can't we just turn around and go home? No, there's not enough fuel for a return trip. How about radio for help? The communication system isn't working. I knew I should have signed up for that anytime, anywhere cell phone plan. <laughs> <laughs>
because I'm in business. Let me see. Okay, okay. Everything seems to be registered. What you got, Turbo? You the man. Man, I am not the man. I am an autonomous humanoid robot. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't get your wires crossed. It's just an expression. Sorry, he gets moody whenever his batteries are low. <laughs> yep, Turbo, you're really low. You better go retard. Okay. I am getting very tired of these sudden. Oh, great. Now we're going to have to carry him out of here. Anybody? That's fun. Trey, help her. I'm not helping her. <laughs> <laughs>
Shall we turn off the fasten seatbelt sign? Quiet, Wilson. Now, cadets, we will disembark very cautiously. I don't know what we're going to find aboard the space station, so we all need to be at a heightened state of readiness. Cool. Turbo, you'll stay with the ship. Good idea. Just sit in my chair and wait till we get back. Turbo. Sit. Turbo, I'll turn you off. Okay. Stay. I mean it. Let's go. Oh my goodness! Is that coming from the ship? I knew I should have stayed with him. Do you click button and gets them every time. Trey, really? Why didn't you respond to our beacon? I never pick up the phone during supper time. Where exactly are we? Now, that's an odd question. Where exactly are we? You're right here in this room. Where else would you be? That's not what he meant. Never mind. You know, all I really need is fuel. That's why we docked here. Do you have any fuel cells in storage? I like to help you, Captain of the Space Station Intrepid. But, you'll, but you see, I'm busy right now with a very, very important project. And besides, my supper's getting cold. And my soda pop's getting warm. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> but sir, you're required by law to give us fuel. Sorry, you have to go someplace else. Have a nice day. What a loony thing. I think he forgot to pay his brain bill. <laughs> There seems to be something a little fishy about him. Hmm. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. Me too. <laughs> Let's see. The blaster should go about, about right here. 
Oh, this is so exciting. Now, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. What are you still doing here? I told y'all to leave. And I told you we were low on fuel. And I told you that I was busy. And I told you that law requires of you to give us fuel. Oh yeah? Well, I'm a bad guy, so I don't have to obey the law. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Hey, stop. This isn't getting us anywhere. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, Mr. Whatever your name hey. is, the name's Virus. And please, don't call me Mr. Virus. It makes you feel old. Okay, virus. Tell me what's going on here. Well, if you really want to know, today we're going to destroy all the virus on Earth. Isn't that exciting? <coughs> and how do you plan to do that? With my latest <coughs> invention, of course. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You've got to be kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? I don't think you want to know what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been trying to get people to doubt the Bible my whole life, but now I've decided to get rid of it all together. <clears throat> you really are evil, aren't you? Oh, stop it. You're just saying that. Hey, if you're with that phone company, I'm not interested in I'm sticking with my current plan. You really are. No, they're with us. <laughs> Captain, we found the... 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 Stuff. Great. Uh, our friend was just throwing his, uh, bottle blasting machine. Really? How does it work? Oh, I thought you never asked. It's really cool. See? I push this button right here. And it comes in a visible beam of virus particles that affect every Bible and turns them into dust. And all from the comfort of my own spaceship. I'm so excited about it. But I don't understand. Why would you want to destroy all the Bibles? Oh, don't get me started. I mean, love your neighbor as yourself. Turn evil from do good. See, first the kingdom of God. Come on. I can't have all that. Besides, when people will read the Bible, they learn about Jesus. And if they learn about Jesus, my whole plan is ruined. What plan? <coughs> Think about it, man. I'm a villain, right? My name's Virus. I'm not running for school board like Steve Catwell. <laughs> I'm trying to do what every other self respecting bad guy has tried to do before me. And what is that? They go to the world, of course. Well, looks like you're going to have to make other plans, Mr. Slimeball, because I've got the key. Good work, Wilson. You know when you lock your keys in your in the car as many times as I have, you find, finally think of a solution. You keep a spare in your pocket. Now, if you excuse me, I've got work to do. Captain, we can't let him destroy all the bubbles. We'll finally see what an incredible book it is, and I'm not going to neglect it anymore. Yeah, and I haven't been neglecting the Bible like I should either. From now on, if the Bible says it, I'm going to believe it. Well, listen to what you're saying. What an answer to prayer. I want to be included, so I'm not just going to stand here either. I want to participate. And what are we waiting for? Set phasers on stun. I got to get a phaser! <laughs> Ready! Okay, Byron, step away from the blaster and nobody gets hurt. We keep forgetting that we play by my rules, not yours. There, your phasers are neutralized and your feet are stuck to the floor. Now please, no more interruptions. It's time to start the countdown. I can't move my feet. Please, please, please. 
If we could only raise the shields of the M1000, they'd deflect the beam right back into the blaster. But there's no way to get to the bridge. Stop it, Turbo. You're going to make a Turbo, run to the bridge and engage the shields. On the console, there's a blue button between a blue button and a yellow button. Push the blue button. Yes, sir. Six. Peace. Five. Four. Which button? The green button. Oh, yeah, it's the green button.